In this video we'll demonstrate a sample UX component that allows users to perform arbitrary SQL select um, queries against any table in a database. So you can see here we're running the component and uh, this component was created from one of the built-in templates. So I'm going to just go here and type in ad hoc and you can see there's the template. So you can just basically load this template and then start running it or you can modify it if you if you choose. So um, so when we run the, uh, the component the first thing we need to do is choose the connection string of the database that we want to be querying. So right now I uh, go here and I see we have two connection strings available and this is configured uh, by going to this connection string uh, drop-down and setting whatever choices you want. So for your own particular uh, use case, you'd probably want to specify connection strings relevant to your application. So let's go ahead now and um, run it. So we'll start out by choosing, say, the uh, Northwind uh, um, connection string. Then we'll choose, say, the customers table. Then we can choose which fields uh, from that table we would like. So I'll start like customer ID company name, uh, contact name, city and country and then if I'd like to move country up I can go there and move it up or down uh, and then basically I don't need to go and create a filter or a sort I can then go ahead and execute the query so there we done we've gone ahead and executed the query and now we can go and see what the SQL was that was generated so the SQL for this query is select and then these uh, field names from customers so let's go now and put some uh, ordering and filtering on so let's go now for example and sort by city so we'll go back there and we'll go now to the sort uh, box and we'll set uh, the city to an ascending sort, execute the query, and now you can see we basically have um, everything now is uh, sorted by city, and then let's go back now and uh, define a filter, so we'll go there and we'll say filter on say uh, country um, is equal to USA and then we'll go ahead now and execute this query. Now let's say we'd like to do a query by example syntax. So we'll go back to the query here and I'll ch change my operator from equals to QBF and now I can say USA comma UK comma France and then we'll sort it by country. And then go ahead and uh, hit the execute button and you can see now we have this all sorted by um, by country and we're getting the countries for France, UK and the USA. So now at any point I can hit the export to Excel button to export my results over to uh, Excel and we can see now that the data is being opened up in Excel. So there we have the data in Excel or I can save the query for future use. So I'm going to go here and say save query and now go over there and give this query a name so I'll just say customers in USA uh, UK and um, and say France and then go ahead and save it so now we've saved this query so now if we go back here and start from scratch we can go to a new query and now we can basically load our saved query so there we go and now we've loaded our saved query over here so basically what we've shown in this um, uh, uh, component here is how you can basically uh, create a um, a UX component that allows users to create arbitrary SQL queries um, against a table in a database view the results um, and then also export the results to Excel thanks very much for watching